for instance, is most career coming to you. And today's post, as you know, is about high tension techniques to save time, um, make your workout more efficient, and get more bang for your buck in shorter periods of time. Um, there's a few different ways we can go about that. We can put grinds together, maybe do like a single leg deadlift and a press or a row and a squat. Um, or we can go for conditioning. If you're looking for conditioning uh, by doing swings or complexes or mixing strength with our conditioning, um, which is probably the best idea to do. Now, if you remember, some of the principles I talked about were uh, tension and intent and obviously kind of mixing up the different exercises to uh, get a better workout as a result. So I just want to give you a quick demonstration of what tension will look like, um, high tension in a workout. Now, when we're working with that type of, of intensity, we want to make sure that you're putting just enough into it to get results, not too much, not everything, so you can recover fast. Um, and to match it with what it is you're trying to do. So if you're doing a pull-up ladder, your first one's not going to be all oh, <laughs> out um, and putting everything you got into it. It's rather going to be pacing it. So, you know, the first one, pull up. Second one, one, two. And then let's say we're having trouble to do three. <laughs> and then pulling up um, and doing a motion. So that's, that's peace and attention. That's an important part of this. But doing it is going to help you uh, get stronger faster and get you more out of your training session um, as far as the effect of it. So um, just real quick, I'm going to do just some cleans um, showing you how to go about um, utilizing this technique of tension. So basically we're making ourselves like a statue or squeezing every muscle in your body. So what you want to think about when you're doing that is pressing your feet down to the floor, wedging in between the floor and the belts, pulling up your kneecaps or squeezing your quads, having your butt tight, squeezing your cheeks together, or some say eating your shorts with your butt cheeks, um, tighten up your abs, and packing your shoulders. So the tension should go up to here and no higher. Keep it below your head. Um, and then we want to get a nice breathing out um, with it. So if you looking for advice on that. Um, I have two videos on breathing. Take a look at those, okay? But anyway, enjoy, and I uh, hope this helps you if you're pressed for time um, and uh, still want to train and get benefit from it. So, see you soon.